friends and welcome to another week in my life video i hope you're having a super happy and super cozy day so far if you can't tell i am quite cozy right now with my cup of coffee and i'm in my turtleneck and i'm just cuddled up on the couch so I'm actually starting this week in my life video on Tuesday. Yesterday I had a crazy busy day at work. I was at my Disney job all day. I actually worked 10 hours straight yesterday. So I was quite tired, needless to say. I had a video and photo shoot at 5.30 in the morning, I think. Yeah, I think I got to my office at 5.30 to pick up some equipment and then the shoot started at 6.30 I wanna say. So yeah, it was an early morning, but today I was able to sleep in a bit and just recover from that long work day, which is really nice. And if you're new to my channel, hello, I'm Allison and I work for Disney, the Walt Disney Company as a social media and communications coordinator, but then I also do YouTube. I work on kind of a freelance basis for Disney. so. Some weeks I might work 60 hours and then some weeks I may work 20 hours. So it really just depends. But today I am working from home. I'm gonna be spending a whole lot of time on my laptop, just living that laptop lifestyle, getting some videos edited and just some emails answered and all of that good stuff. But later this evening when Brandon, my husband, gets home from work, we are going to a pumpkin patch and I am so stinking excited. I haven't been to a pumpkin patch yet and it's already October 22nd. Halloween is next week. So when you're watching this, you're going to be watching it like the week of Halloween, which is so crazy. But we just really have to soak up and make the most of it. And then hopefully um, we'll pick out a pumpkin and I can roast the pumpkin seeds. Probably won't do that tonight, but maybe tomorrow night and I'll be vlogging it all. So lots of fun fall festivities. But I'm also really excited for this video because we have an amazing sponsor, Glasses USA. Hence my beautiful glasses I am currently wearing. If you haven't heard of Glasses USA yet, they offer prescription glasses at up to 70% off retail prices. So very affordable compared to most glasses. I actually have a few to show you. The ones that I'm currently wearing are the Muse and Hilary Duff Colette glasses. And I absolutely love them. I've been wearing them um, all last week too. You may have seen it in a few videos already before. So this collection is obviously great and they have over 80 styles like I said. The frame selection on Glasses USA is so incredible. They offer over 4,000 different styles so you definitely will find something that you love. And they have their in-house brands, but they also have designer brands like Ray-Ban, Oakley, Armani, and many more. So if you like those designer fancy brands, they got you. And I may have, you know, gotten one of those for myself. I'll show you soon. And you can add almost any prescription you need to almost any frame on their site, including sunglasses which is incredible and brandon's been needing prescription sunglasses so i definitely need to order him some and i love that there's just such a huge selection because it's hard to find prescription glasses that you actually like feel confident and excited to wear i personally don't i don't need a prescription for my glasses but with glasses usa they offer digital block frames which is so important to me because you guys know i spend absolutely so many hours a week on my laptop so having the digital block frame option is so crucial and the main reason why i'm always wearing glasses because i need to protect my eyes so that i can maintain my healthy vision and maintain healthy eyeballs so so these lenses filter the blue light that's emitted on digital screens like your phone and laptop and even the TV. So I always try to wear these when I can. And one of the best parts about Glasses USA is their affordable price point. A complete pair of glasses, so frames and lenses, starts at $30, which is such an incredible deal. If you've shopped for glasses before, you absolutely know this is truly incredible. So 
I highly suggest checking them out and you can shop all the styles I'm about to show you down in my description but then of course you can browse the website and they also have a great offer for you so all those details will be in the description below but let me do a little glasses haul so I have four pairs and I already showed you the Hilary Duff the Muse and Hilary Duff glasses I'm wearing now and that's in the Colette frame also it came with this amazing case which is pink in the inside which just speaks my language and a little cleaner so I can keep them nice and safe which I definitely want to do and then I got a couple more glasses and you can get them prescription but I got my non-prescription with the digital block frame so that I can protect my eyeballs these are the Muse Hopper in pink glasses and they're so fun you guys know i love pink so i think these are precious and they're they're like not too pink where you can still wear it with pretty much anything are these fun clear ones with the black little legs i don't know what you call this part but these are the ototo piero i think that's how you say it and i also love these clear glasses are so cute and trendy and then finally, let me show you the sunnies I picked out. They are Ray-Bans, so I did go for a designer, fancy designer. And I used to have a version like this, but they were poorly made. So I'm so thankful to have good quality glasses now. And I just love the frame and style of these so much. So I love Glasses USA, clearly. Thank you again to them for sponsoring this video and I hope you all enjoy them just as much as I do. So now I am going to finish editing a video. Um, it's actually my fall night routine, so that'll be up by the time this is up and I'm almost done with it. I just have to, I think, I think I just have to add some like text overlays and stuff and then I just have to um, do my final review. So <laughs> I always watch my videos like so many times to make sure I didn't mess up or anything. Um, but yeah, I do a final review and then I'll upload it. So I'll get that done. And then what else do I have to do today? Oh, I have to film this like little video clip for a brand. It's actually not um, going to be featured in any of my videos, but it's like a video review for them to use for like their paid social advertising. So that's kind of cool. Um, and I love the brand. It's actually this cozy little blanket over. Oh, you can't see it, but it's for a cozy little blanket. And you guys know how I feel about cozy things and blankets. So it should be pretty simple. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to do that, eat some lunch. And then soon enough, Brandon will be home so we can go to the pumpkin patch. I am so excited. I wish it was cooler outside. Um, I don't have my phone next to me, but I have to look up how hot it is. Let's go, let's go see. I'm gonna guess it is currently 87 degrees. It's still so hot in Florida, guys, but we are trying to get in the fall mood as best as we can. So let's see. Let's see what we're working with. Weather. Oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> guys, it is 91 degrees in Orlando. I cannot believe this. Actually, in Orlando, it technically says 89, but the part of Orlando I live in is 91. So, love that. But we're still going to go to the pumpkin patch. We're still going to get in the fall festive spirit because it's almost the end of fall. It's almost Christmas season. Once Halloween is over. I am transitioning to Christmas and I'm so excited, but I still want to make the most of fall. I mean, I still have a lot of things on my bucket list I haven't done. So you got to get moving and have a fun, a festive day, but also get a lot of work done. little salad for lunch I just took some spinach and then I took this black bean quinoa burger from Trader Joe's and just heat that up it really makes my salads so much more filling and hearty because salads really aren't that filling to me and it is kind of small so I might eat something else but it's super super tasty
finished editing this fall night routine and it's uploading now so excited but it took me forever i don't always do this but i made brandon a snack for when he comes home so he's all fueled up for our pumpkin patch adventures oh speaking of he just got home hi babe hi. <laughs> Okay, we're about to head out to the pumpkin patch. This is my little pumpkin patch outfit of the day. I got my hat on, my glasses USA glasses. See, they can even be a cute accessory even if you're not looking at a screen. And then, good thing I have a short sleeve sweater because it is still 91 degrees outside. And then I have this cute little dress. The, uh, both of these pieces are from Princess Polly actually. Um, and then for my shoes, I have some socks that I got a long time ago from Forever 21 and then these booties from Just Fab. <laughs> One hopefully is gonna have some delicious seeds that we can roast, and I think we should make it into a classic jack o' lantern. We had a sweet little pumpkin patch date, and now it's time for tacos. Taco Tuesday. We're going to Tijuana Flats, which is um, a little taco like Tex-Mex place in our area. I think it's only in Orlando, but let me know if you've ever been to one. It's super tasty. Brandon's saying no, it's not only in Orlando. What do I know? It did start in Orlando though. The guys who started it went to UCF or something like that. So, love it and definitely creating it. Can't wait to get it inside my mouth. and happy Tuesday. I have had a pretty productive morning and I just got out of a meeting for my Disney job. And yeah, today is just another laptop day. The pumpkin patch was so fun last night, like you saw. And tonight I'm going to carve our pumpkin and roast some pumpkin seeds. So I'm looking forward to doing that later. But in the meantime, we're just gonna cross off some to-dos, get some work done. And I'm actually about to cook lunch because my tummy is rumbling. I always get hungry so early because we wake up so early. We wake up at 5. I don't have breakfast until like 8 usually, but I still get hungry around like 10, 30, or 11. So I'm going to find something to eat for lunch and then get back to work. hitting a little low energy point in my day so I'm going to have a little bit of this juice that's not focusing come on you got it um we got it this weekend when we went to Fort Lauderdale but it's called golden girl and it's turmeric carrot pineapple lemon and ginger I think it's gonna be super refreshing hopefully give me some energy but I'll probably still make an iced coffee too our snack time is so symmetrical today. We have our favorite cheese from Trader Joe's. It's the unexpected cheddar. I'll show it to you so you guys know what the package is like. If you like, um, if you go to Trader Joe's, we have a new block of it because we just finished that one. But it's this unexpected cheddar cheese, and it is truly so delicious. And we love that for a little snack. And I just have some like wheat thins or whatever and some frozen mango which is so delicious um and i'm preparing to start carving the pumpkin which i'm really excited about i'm trying to think where the heck we should do it though um because like our living room is all carpet and my white rug which i definitely don't want to do it on there so i'm either going to do it like in this little piece of flooring right here 
or I'm just gonna sit on our island and carve the pumpkin, which kind of sounds fun. So I might do that. And then for dinner, we have some leftover chili, but we also have this Trader Joe's pumpkin bisque, which is a creamy soup with pumpkin and fall spices. Sounds absolutely delicious. So I'm probably gonna make this in a little salad as well because I don't think we have enough chili for both of us. And I kind of just wanna eat this because it sounds so super cozy. Brandon's home now and he inspired me to go to the gym with him. So we're just gonna do a little 30 minute run together, a little 5K and then come back home and then I will start carving the pumpkin. Okay, it's about to go down. Got my pumpkin and I'm gonna watch Hocus Pocus. Oh yeah. jack-o-lantern masterpiece i'm so happy with how he looks i put our little pumpkin pie candle on the inside and he is just twinkling the night away looking so festive and i am loving hocus pocus too i'm um, not hocus pocus too but as well it is so fun and getting me in the mood for halloween just finished cooking and wow they are so tasty I just put chili powder salt and pepper and olive oil and they just taste super simple but really good flavor I seriously could eat this whole little bowl of them but I have to save some for B when he gets home but I love this so much and it's such a healthy snack too Happy Thursday. This week truly is flying by so much for me. I don't even know why. I've just been working from home most of the time, but it is flying. And today I am just working from home again. I have my first meeting starting at 1.30, but then I have three meetings after that. So it's a pretty meeting heavy afternoon. I just put on some light makeup and I took a shower this morning, so my hair is still kind of wet. But since we wake up so early, um, I took a shower at like 6 a.m. Um, but I like to do that so that by the time I have my meetings, like my hair is dry for the most part. So it doesn't look like I just got out of the shower or anything like that. And I'll just like tame it a bit too. But yeah, we just got to have a productive day. And then after Brandon gets home from work, we're planning on going to Disney Spring Disney Springs with a couple of friends. Um, and I think we might eat dinner here. We're meeting them at Blaze, which is a pizza place, but I think we might like eat dinner here and then maybe get some dessert or something at Disney Springs because we're trying to save money and trying to like eat at home as much as we can. And we already like got to you on a flats um, when we went to the pumpkin patch earlier this week. So probably gonna do that. And this weekend we're doing like a staycation thing. So we're gonna be eating like out every single meal. So it's kind of nice to have that home cooked meals. And I never made that pumpkin soup that I showed you guys. So maybe we'll have some of that, but we still have chili. <laughs> I've We've been eating this chili for like a week. I make it a big batch of it in the crock pot, but we're still eating it and I'm a little tired of it. So maybe we'll switch it out tonight, but I think I'm gonna make some lunch soon. It's only, let's see, I have my PJs on. <laughs> Let me see what time it is. Oh. It's only 10.59, but I'm so hungry and I keep eating pumpkin seeds, but I really wanna make a big salad again. Um, 
and I'm craving like a olive oil lemon garlic dressing so I think I'm gonna make my own dressing and then I wish I had garbanzo beans because that'd be super yummy in a salad but I don't know we'll just do a little modge podge of ingredients and have a yummy salad soon but I think I'm just gonna cut up some cheese and crackers just so that I can have a little snack and then have lunch at a reasonable time so I'm not so hungry before it's dinner time There's a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need Okay, so I'm making my lunch and I told you I was craving a salad and I actually, um, since I don't have any beans, I just heated up some quinoa. Well, I made the quinoa um, so that it would just have like more subsidence to the salad and then I made this dressing. I just put olive oil which I put in a spray bottle so it's like easy to spray out. And then I put some apple cider vinegar and some lemon juice and some fresh garlic. And I also put in some oregano, black pepper, and what else did I do? I think I did one more thing. No, I think that's it actually. I actually didn't try it yet either, but I'm just hoping it'll be yummy. And I seriously made so much quinoa, so hopefully this salad is good and I can have it for the next few days. And I'm going to also top it with some sunflower. Doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Okay, I'm happy to report the salad was so freaking good. I have major garlic breath right now though because I just put that fresh garlic but super healthy highly suggest recreating it and it was super easy and super super filling like I'm stuffed right now the quinoa really really helped it to be filling because I didn't really have any protein like no beans and obviously no meat so good stuff I'm feeling good and then I changed to this blazer my pink blazer because um, this one's from Lulu's um, because I actually have a presentation. Those are my reminders. Oh, I have five minutes. Okay. <laughs> I actually have a presentation in one of my meetings later. So I just kind of wanted to wear something a little more structured than my sweater, even though like it's totally appropriate for work. But like since I'm presenting, I want to be like girl boss energy. <laughs> so I just changed and then I'm going to be working for the rest of the day until B gets home around 4.30. Doesn't make it easy. The other piece of my heart moves slow. I have my iced coffee. I just mix some espresso with my almond milk, I think it is, cold brew. It's so yummy, and the espresso makes it not so sweet. Now it's time to go kill this presentation for work. I just got this new laptop for work on Monday and I'm obsessed with it. Well, one, my screensaver is so happy with Halloween coming up. And then it has like the touch screen bar thing down here and I just love it so very much. It's not working right now because it's locked, but it has touch ID too so I can just touch it and it unlocks. Okay, I just got finished with the presentation for work. I think it went well. Um, I always get really nervous when I have to present stuff in front of like multiple co-workers But I think it went well and now it's over so I don't have to stress But I really wasn't that stressed beforehand which was good just like right before I started presenting I'm like nervous butterflies shaking and all that stuff. Do you guys get nervous when you present stuff? It just makes me feel uncomfy <laughs> But when I'm like doing it, I kind of get in a rhythm, but if I mess up a little bit then I'm just like I just want to go under a rock, but it went well and ready to just have fun for the rest of the day. I posted a video, a YouTube video at 2 p.m. fall nighttime routine. So since I've been in meetings, I haven't been able to like answer to comments. I, I did a couple just now um, after my meeting, but I haven't been able to answer to a lot of comments and like share the video on my Instagram and stuff so I'm gonna do that now but I think I'm gonna log off my Disney computer for the rest of the day and just do some YouTube stuff and then go to Disney Springs. Brandon should be home in about 30 minutes and I'm gonna make some apple and peanut butter for us because I'm getting hungry again even though that salad was super filling. When I return from the afterglow.
Okay, we are on our way to Disney Springs for a triple date. So we are headed there now. It's almost gonna be dark soon. The sun is starting to set so early, but we already ate dinner. We ate chili again um, and some green beans. And maybe we'll get some dessert depending on, we, on how we feel, but we're just gonna walk around, go in some shops, and do Disney Springs things. It's kind of hard to say. Disney Springs things. Disney Springs things, try and say it. Disney Springs things. <laughs> Disney Springs things, try to say it. It's tricky. Hold on, put me together, take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all. Okay, we just got home from Disney Springs. Brandon's so tired. Usually we go to bed at like 9.30 because we're grandma and grandpa. <laughs> well, we wake up so early. We wake up at 5 a.m. So if you're gonna wake up early, the key is to go to bed early so you get enough sleep. And it's already 10 o'clock, so he's still got a shower, get ready for bed. I gotta wash my face, brush my teeth. I did shower earlier though, so my hair's clean. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a fun week. We did lots of festivities. Like, oh my gosh, it's heavy. <laughs> I carved this guy, Chester. So thank you for watching and be sure to check out Glasses USA if you're in the market for some really cute glasses, sunglasses. They have so many amazing options. Here are my Ray-Bans, so fancy. Um, and I'll have all the information linked in the description, but I really appreciate you guys supporting me and I'll see you soon, bye. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone.